Good day, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Behind me over here, you can see El Capitan, and I'm going to talk to you today about a rock slide that happened in Yosemite uh, yesterday on February 20th, 2023. This rock slide ended up closing the road on the north side of the valley, and the normally one-way road on the south side of the valley, they turned into two-way so that people could exit the park. So I want to show you where the rock slide is. Uh, it's just below Horsetail Falls, and I'll give you a little close-up and show you where I believe it happened. Then we're going to walk over there and check it out, see if we can get a first-hand close-up view of it. Okay, this is the flank of El Capitan, and at the top there in the center, you can see Horsetail Falls. And if you follow it down, the falls kind of disappears. And then down lower, you can see where it reappears there, right in the center of the frame. And just to the upper right of that, now in the center of the frame, is, is where I believe the rock slide to be. So we're going to walk over there and see if we can check it out. Okay, so now I'm trouncing through the woods en route to uh, the base of the rock slide, which I can kind of see. Definitely a little bit of a bushwhacking adventure here. But I think we'll be able to get up there. Ooh. Wow. Hang on. Okay, right behind me here, you see this humongous uh, boulder. You can see, I'm gonna just get right here. Here's the boulder. And you can see that it's mowed down these uh, trees here. All of these, uh, this rock here right in front of me, that's new. And if you look up there, you can see the, the rock fall. Okay, I'm literally standing in the debris field right now, and you can see these huge trees that have all gotten flattened, and there's just sort of one lone tree there, there that's survived. And then above that, you can see the, uh, where the rock slide came down and more debris over that way, boulders, a bunch of flattened vegetation. Okay, so once again, now you can see the top of Horsetail Falls. And we can follow it down. There's that little snow field. And then just to the right of that, this bare, clean rock. This is where all the rock came down from. And if you look over this way, you see sort of the edge of where the trees are. And all these rocks have just completely flattened all the trees that were in that area and this is the lower part of the falls so it's kind of and then it's come all the way down right to where i am everything is covered in a lot of dust more down trees and then below me you can see that rock kind of lodged in the tree there it kind of bounced up there and got stuck in the tree and then there's the two large rocks down there below me, and that's about the end of it. There's the top of El Capitan, and if you look down this way, you can see some larger trees just had their tops just completely sheared off by, by big old bouncing rocks. And this debris field. Okay, if you're not familiar with where Horsetail Falls is, I'm going to show you uh, it's a reference to there's you know El Capitan there, and then if you just follow the the top of the ridge over a little bit, then Horsetail Falls is right here on the sort of the flank, the shoulder of El Capitan, and it comes all the way down. And once again, here's the debris field. You can look over this way also and see more uh, debris broken off trees and whatnot. Howdy. Good morning. What is that contraption? It's a LIDAR. Which... So it's basically a laser beam that shoots millions of points and I'm able to create a three-dimensional model. And I calculate volumes and things like that. So then what, what do you do with the... This past May, we were here looking at the wall and we did lots of surveys with this. And um, there was a rock fall yesterday, so we're gonna try to use the May scans that we have and I'll resurvey it and we'll try to calculate the volume of rock that came oh, down. Oh wow. Yeah. So you can see how deep it yes. is and stuff? It's a three-dimensional model that I can in, in the computer I can manipulate any way you want to. 
it's pretty impressive. It wow. Keeps, it basically, it's shooting millions of points and it's creating a... So how does it, how does it uh, work with the camera? So the camera just basically, all the camera's doing is we get to color the pixels. Oh, I see. The dots. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. all the camera's for. And it's, it's just nice to see pictures with it instead of just millions of points. Does, does this thing without so this the... Thing, so will, this, will it create an image without the camera, but just black and white, or is it yes, just... okay? or any color you want it to. Okay, Yeah, so basically the laser's right here, it's not working right now. The laser's here, it shoots the light out, and it rec records the time it takes for the light to come back. Yeah, and oh, knows, I see. it knows where it is in space, and so it just... And so la how does, how, what is laser speed co like compared to speed of light? Speed of light, it is speed okay. of light, yeah. Okay, yeah. so, wow. Now, when, the, when an event like this happens, d does it tend to, like, pretty much everything falls and it's, then it's stable after that? Or not necessarily. Yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe That's not. That's why yeah. we're here, is we're, we're, Brian, the, the, the scientist I work for, He's basically here to look at it and say, is it safe or not? Yeah. It's yeah. unknown still. Yeah. I actually, Were you? I, I went up there and yeah, I was kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, very welcome. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've never, you know, I wasn't. It's great. It's called terrestrial LIDAR. And how long has this technology been around? For quite a long time. Of course, it started out with um, military. Yeah. You know, so it's been around for a while. Um, I've been using it since around probably 2008. Okay. And um, so it gets you, better and better and yeah, faster and yeah. faster and, and smaller you, and smaller. <laughs> so how much how much operator skill is involved to get it right? Or? Now it's all done by computer. Yeah, you it's just, all post process. I do it. There's a lot of post processing. Yeah, yeah. And you do that, or yeah, does somebody do else do it? Well. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it's fun. You know, I, I'm a geologist, and I always like to tell people with this kind of technology. You know, geology is all about scale of time, and you get to look at things at a big scale of time. But this. We get almost centimeter resolution, so yeah. you, get, you know it's like real time change. Yeah, you can yeah. actually detect it. Yeah, so cool. So this would be like compared to other rock falls that you've experienced. This is not a terribly big one, or right now at this point, it's a small one. Yeah. Now yeah. something else could happen, right? That's yeah, the, yeah. And it has. I mean, that's that's been historically things you get after fall, like yeah. something moves, and the the issue right now is the, the weather's warm. Who knows? Yeah. We just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, there's not like a big overhang that's that right. looks precarious. It right. looks like it kind of, yeah. kind of did what it's going to yeah. do. Yeah, Obviously. yeah. Great. Well, thanks for the info. Yes, Appreciate yes. it. Yeah. Very well. Take care. Yeah. All right. Well, that was super cool of that guy to uh, walk me through the process there. It's pretty amazing what the technology can do. So anyway, thanks for coming along on this uh, little adventure, checking out the rock fall. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Give it the old thumbs up. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>